What's up, guys? Nick White here, Tech and Coding Stuff on Twitch and YouTube. It is very late by me, um, and I'm about to go to bed, but I was just looking for some problems for tomorrow, and I saw this one, and I was like, I could do this in two minutes because it was super easy. Um, you know, maybe if you're a beginner, you thought it might be like, hmm, I don't know, but I mean, it's pretty easy if you've done a maximum number, pretty much. So you're given a binary array, which is an array where each element is either a one or a zero. Because binary and coding, if you didn't know, is zeros and ones. Um, and you output the maximum number of consecutive ones. So that means however many ones in a, the maximum time ones occur in a row, that's how many you uh, output. So what, there's two ones in a row, but there's also three ones in a row. So we return three because that's, you know, bigger than two. Little math lesson for you. But nonetheless... Um, if we hit a zero, here's the idea. We're going to keep a maximum and then a current maximum, current consecutive number of ones or current some kind of variable to keep track of the current consecutive ones. So it'll that will keep track of the current consecutive ones, you know, pretty easy. It'll go one, two, and then when it hits zero, it'll go back to zero because there's no consecutive ones in a row anymore. And then it'll go one, two, three, and there will be a max. So the max will also be getting updated whenever we see a 1. So it'll be 1. Okay, well, now the max is 1. Okay, 2. Now the max is 2. 0. Max is still 2, but the current consecutive 1s is back to 0. 1. Max is still 2. 2. Max is still 2. 3. All right, now max gets updated to 3. Hopefully you get that. That's pretty much it. Let's code it out so you can see, though. So... We have max is zero, and then we'll say current uh, one number of ones. Very descriptive. I would not use that variable name because it's pretty long, but just to make it visually appealing for you guys, um, you know, so you understand it. Nums.length. So loop through the array. I would assume you understand a loop. And then we have the two options, right? If nums of i is equal to one, well, and if it's not equal to one, right? There's two options there. Um, and what we're gonna return at the end is max. So if it's equal to one, well, we're gonna add to the current number of ones we've seen, one, obviously. And if it's equal to zero, well, the current number of ones is equal to zero, because we're starting over at that point. If we see another one, it'll get added, blah, 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 blah. And then, at each iteration, like I said, we just have to update the max. Whenever we see a one, we have to check. All right, did we, did we reach a new peak here? So we check against max. We use the math.max method to see the bigger out of the current number of ones and the total max. That's it. Super easy problem. Great beginner problem, though. Um, so I, I, I don't hate this being on Lee code. I think, so there's the success. And I think a bunch of people get mad at easy problems and they dislike. They're like, come on. There's beginners, obviously. You got to start somewhere. I think they should have some easier ones, honestly. Gives, get some more rankings. Um, here's the here's a cool one I saw where they do it in like a line basically they do ternary conditions but this is for the more advanced programmers watching but that's uh, cool so that was the problem let me know what you guys think let me know if you have questions you probably shouldn't it's pretty easy and um, I'm doing the premium I got premium now so I'm doing those on Patreon only and um, yeah thanks for watching and I'll be uploading some more tomorrow because I know you guys are you guys like the leak code so join the discord see you guys thanks for watching